Hey guys, so today I'm filming a chit chat get ready with me. So I'm kind of running a little bit late, but I'm just getting ready for work and I still have to eat and get changed. So we're just gonna jump right into it and we're gonna start off with my face makeup. Um, so the most important thing that I like to do for work is to prime my face because I want my makeup to last my entire shift so I don't look crazy with blotchy makeup. And the foundation that I've been using recently is the Born This Way foundation and I'm in the color Nude. So I got this because everyone was raving about it and I found that it works best for dry skin if you apply your lotion right before putting this on. Otherwise it's a little bit drying. But it has really nice coverage and there are plenty of colors to match your skin. I found the best way to blend this out is with your beauty blender. And my face is a little bit red right now because I have been running around all morning. So I went to yoga today for like my first time and I loved it so much. I went with my friend Emma and it was really, really relaxing and I've been really stressed out lately for like no reason. So it just felt really good and we got brunch after and it was just a great way to start my day. The concealer I've been loving lately is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. And I really want to try out this foundation, but I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, so if you know anything about it, then comment down below. And again, I just use a beauty blender. If you do not use a beauty blender, especially for concealer, you are doing it all wrong. So since I have really veiny like eyelids and kind of purpley, I use Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion, or um, I know that Max like soft ochre or acre whatever that one is is a good one too for like concealing and priming so I've been watching a lot of makeup routines and like get readies with me lately and I recently discovered that using a powder with a beauty blender to set your primer is going to help your eyeshadows last and blend a lot better um, and I didn't really know that before I mean it makes a lot of sense but so yeah, I'm just using that. And also a huge trend right now is like baking under your eyelids. Or not under your eyelids, what am I saying? Um, you're like, where do you put concealer? What the heck? I don't know, right here. Um, under eyes, that's it. Baking under your eyes, but I honestly just don't have time before work to do that because I'm not good at planning. So I just, you know, use a basic powder and I also use a powder all over my face again just using my beauty blender so for eyes I like to keep it super simple for work um, and I just use my naked basics palette and all the colors that I use are in here so it's super easy uh, the first two colors I'm gonna use are walk of shame and foxy and I just use them on a flat shader brush and I just put these all the way up to my brow bone the more yellow tone foxy I also bring that in the inner corner So I said I like to keep it super simple for my eyes, so I'm just moving on to eyeliner and I'm using the Bobbi Brown gel liner and an angled brush to line my tight line. Recently been getting into kind of doing my eyebrows and I use the Cabral from Benefit and I'm in the shade 3 and I went to Sephora and they matched me and they were so helpful and I really really like this. So I'm gonna do mine, but like I said, I'm just getting into it. So I'm gonna do it off camera because I have to get like really close to my mirror and it kind of takes a while. So I'm just gonna do that and I will be right back. So I forgot to start filming again, but I pretty much just filled in my eyebrows, which I'm like kind of proud of. I don't know, I'm still learning. So if you guys have any like, you know, beginners like tips or tricks, then leave them in the comments down below. But yeah, that's what they look like. And I just applied my Falsies mascara. I forgot to film that, but yeah, it's pretty basic. You know, just apply your mascara. And I really like this one. So anyway, now that the eyes are done, I am going to go ahead and start my contouring or bronzing, just kind of like warming up the face. I don't do anything too dramatic for work, so I'm just taking Hoola bronzer with an angled fluffy brush and I'm just gonna warm up my face. Then to contour like just the slightest bit, I'm taking Laguna Bronzer from NARS and an angled brush. This one's a little bit denser. I just focus that mainly on my 
like on my cheekbones and I'm gonna blend that just a little bit so now for blush which I pretty much change up from day to day but recently like a go-to of mine has been my Mac uh, stay pretty which is a pretty pink blush I'm just taking this on a big fluffy brush so I like this one because it just gives a little blush and sometimes when I apply the cream it kind of like pulls off my makeup so I just like the powder and to start a highlight I start off with Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit and I just put this a little bit and I don't know why people don't rave about this more because I love it as a base it's so awesome I find that using a duo fiber brush to kind of just blend it out gives a flawless glow my hair can stay out of it and over top I take two I take a Josie Moran and a makeup forever highlighter and I use two different brushes I start off with a fluffier brush and my Josie Moran highlight and then I'm taking my makeup forever on a denser little brush and we can't forget about eye highlights so I'm going back to my naked basics with the first color called Venus and a fluffy brush and just kind of messily, not precise, I just like the careless glow all over. This is super light, so I just kind of, you know, throw it on. Of course, last but not least is my lips, and this also changes up kind of with the blush, but I'm just going to use my go-to today, and it's the Tarte Lust Natural Lip Stain Pencil. They changed up the packaging and stuff, but this is the one I have, and it's a nice, like, light red so you can definitely build up the colors with this but I just like a nice natural stain and it feels like chapstick so it's really really nice for work nothing too intense where you have to keep up with it and it's just, it just feels amazing on the lips and a new step that I have been completing this look with is a finishing spray and I've been using the Urban Decay all nighter and I just got the mini one and so far I have two thumbs up for this so I just take this and spray it This one refreshes my face after putting all the makeup on and two makes it last all through my shift which is really nice because I'm under fluorescent lights so I like my makeup to look like I just did it all day. So yeah, that is pretty much all that I do. So this is my completed makeup look. It's super simple and it's just my go-to for work. Thanks so much for getting ready with me today. I have to go and eat so I'm not hungry and yeah, if you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.